Hey YouTube, it's Faye, and for today's video, I'm gonna show you how to check codes on a third generation Toyota Supra. Uh, I feel like this is the most important thing to know how to do. If you have a Supra, you're probably gonna be doing this all the time, or actually any older Toyota for that matter, but especially the Supra because they always like, always have codes. Uh, so anyways, here goes. Underneath the hood, right behind the battery, you'll find your fuse box. Right behind that is this little box that says diagnosis on it. And on the other side of this box, you'll see what each one of these little individual ports is for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect E1 and TE1, just like that. See that? E1 and TE1. Put that somewhere where you're not going to lose it. And then inside the car, we are going to turn to accessory mode and we're gonna count the flashes of the check engine light. That was five, one, seven, one, and 5-1 or back to that again. So there was like a long pause in between 7-1 and 5-1 to show us that we had restarted. 7-1, okay. So once you have your codes, write those down and then I will show you a link in the description below where you can look up all of what these codes mean. So don't forget to remove your key and of course take that little jumper wire out of your diagnostic box because we're done with you put your cap back on and look up your codes. And here is a complete list of all the diagnostic codes. This is directly from the factory repair manual, but it's actually all online. So that is in the description below. And you can see here are all the codes. Here's what it looks like. And then of course what the system is. So I can just go ahead and scroll. Next page, next page. And there, oop. Yes, I knew that one. Since I deleted my EGR, I had a feeling it was gonna be 71 with the EGR system. And then, yeah, 51. This is a this one's a tricky one to diagnose, but I had a feeling I would have that one too. Okay, cool. All right, and check this out. Once you are done repairing whatever caused your code and you want to erase your codes, then in the fuse box, your EFI fuse, your 15 amp EFI fuse, go ahead and pull that out. And here it is, taking a look at our fuse box. We've got the EFI fuse right there. Pull that out, count to 30, put it back, and your codes will be clear. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you found that helpful, and check the link in the description below for where to get what all these codes mean. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video, hope it helped, and I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye. Okay, Luna. <laughs> what the heck? What are you doing? What are you doing to Luna? Hey, Luna.